25, 26, 27 of the season. Uh, penultimate race weekend. We've got Howard Fuller again at the wheel after his uh, very good debut at Rockingham. Um, Howard's been promoted from our Volkswagen Cup squad where he uh, won a race for us earlier in the season at Rockingham. So that's what we're looking to do, get some young talent on board, move them up into the touring car, give them the opportunity that they may not get elsewhere. Me and Tony talked about getting in the car, um, you know, whilst I was with um, him in Volkswagen Cup, but I never really imagined that he would give me the opportunity to race uh, for a whole weekend. I was over the moon and, uh, you know, my parents, they love it. Like, my dad always comes to me in my race weekends and he was like, Definitely, definitely yes, and it's, it's fantastic, I'm loving it. We're looking very good going into qualifying. We're just, we're just proud of him and proud that we were able to give him the chance to do it. And his dad, his mum, they're all happy, all part of the team, and uh, Howard's great to work with. It's a great car to drive. It's very, very small uh, in comparison to some of the uh, NGTC cars and even some of the S2000 cars, really. So uh, it's quite fun having, uh, you know, they're trying to intimidate you and getting your slipstream, it just doesn't work. But we can get good toes down the straight as well because it's obviously quite a small car. We had got lots of good positives for qualifying uh, to take away from it. Obviously the position isn't ideal for us and we know the team know and myself uh, had the potential to do a lot better than we did. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, we got we can take away lots of positives. Uh, the car's going to be fixed for tomorrow's race, hopefully. Uh, but it was just a small problem which uh, obviously had a quite a large effect to our to, for our qualifying. But bounced off uh, one of the curbs and maybe done some drive shaft damage. So we just take everything apart and then um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, rectify it for the for the racing. The car's got the speed, got the pace. Howard's got the talent. So. Uh, we know what touring cars is like. If people crash into each other, fall off like they do, then we've got a chance to make up no places. So all good for tomorrow, hopefully. Today we're race day, Silverstone. Um, just got some overnight work we've been doing on Howard's car. Um, we actually missed half the qualifying due to a uh, problem with the drive shaft. We're just finishing now, ready for race one. Hopefully he can make some good progress today in the race. Looks like it's going to be a dry day, albeit cloudy, but um, yeah, looking forward to it. Overnight we um, we found out that uh, a driver had come in to drive the Insignia, which we previously drove at um, Snetterton earlier on in the year. So uh, I'm excited again to be back behind the wheel. So we've dusted off the suit. We've got the race license back out of retirement and uh, we're going to see what we can do. Quite an interesting race, uh, full of action, uh, as they always are. Um, but yeah, like we unfortunately we didn't get the best of uh, opening laps. We got a great start, but those first um, two or three laps weren't our best. But yeah, we made up all those positions. Uh, an optimistic move by Chris James into Cops three wide. I don't think I've seen that before, and a payoff. But uh, I kind of um, set the set the top for the rest of the race. Really, the rest mit, the red mist descended after that, and uh, I was definitely going hard.
race. Uh, fantastic start again. We've got these starts pretty much nailed now. Got behind Chris James, or Chris James, I think his name is. The yellow veteran, um, which really spoiled our race, really, because we were behind him for far too long. But he was quick in the places where I needed him to be a little bit slower, just so I can you know, get a good run into the braking zone. On the way, really. boys, done such a good job this weekend. He's almost made me cry. Yeah. Only crying 40 times in my entire life. <laughs> Well, cheers, man. See, get me in back in this car. But uh, yeah, what a great weekend. Highs and lows, um, you know, throughout the whole weekend. But the boys did a fantastic job to get the car out. They worked really, really late yesterday. We're up really early this morning, getting all the bits for the car, and uh, they've been flat out. So this one goes to the, the team hard and Tony Gillen. So. Thanks so much. It's been a great experience, and Howard uh, seems to have come, come on well. We're coming into the team without any experience. Tony and the guys have uh, done a really good job in bringing Howard on, and it's been uh, it's been a really really good experience. Howard's thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think uh, performed very very well. Okay, another weekend for Team Hard. Um, two cars this weekend. I was back in the Insignia. Didn't go exactly to plan, but still potential there. Howard done another great job this weekend, just unlucky in race two, um, not to finish. Had a bit of a problem with the drive shaft, but we got it right for race three. Started from the back and got all the way up to 12th place, so good effort. I think fifth quickest car on track, lap time wise, so he's done a really, really good job for us. Um, just before we get Aaron in for Brands Hatch, so it's, uh, it's looking promising. Yeah, I'm going to be racing the team hard Honda Civic um, in the British Touring Car Championship which I'm absolutely delighted about racing. Obviously, it's, uh, it's been my dream for about seven years now to, to be in a touring car. That's, that's what I've been working to um, through all the support races and uh, working my way up from a junior perspective to, to a professional driver. So I'm just honoured to be given the chance and uh, looking forward to it. I would absolutely love to be on that top step of the podium, but uh, obviously with a championship fight, I think it's just going to be very hard work. So top 10 is realistic.